What is going on guys? This is Gene Jensen and in this Tackle Tuesday video, I want to talk to you about the tools that I use when I'm fishing. I'm going to real quickly go through what tools I have on my boat at any given time, whether I'm in my kayak or in my boat. Um, one for just convenience, one for, they could, they could be for, uh, you know, getting hooks out of fish's mouths and stuff like that, your typical ones, and then some for emergency. And I'll leave a link down in the description for, uh, just so you guys can go take a closer look at them. Some of them are, uh, easily found. Some of them are a little bit more difficult and, uh, only one is a sponsorship deal. So it's, it's pretty cool. I'll be able to go through all these things. But first of all, let's talk about the, the tools that I use that are always on the boat for your regular fishing stuff. What you always see, like a pair of pliers and things like that. So this is, this is a pair of pliers that I keep on there. There's another pair that I keep on, which is a pair of forceps. We'll talk about that in a second. But these are split ring pliers. Now I've got my, let me get my mouse over here so I can show you a close up. But these are split ring pliers. I think I picked them up at Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops one day because I was missing a pair. But uh, they're really good. Um, what makes them split ring pliers is this little tooth that's on the top allows you to break through the center of the split ring real easy and put, you know, treble hooks on a split ring and things like that or change treble hooks out in your crankbaits. Um, it's got a little cutter that's okay. It doesn't cut the blade worth a darn, but it'll cut other, other fishing line. And it's just your everyday, you know, fishing tool. But I bought it because I love the tooth, the overlapping tooth for, uh, for split ring pliers and a lot of them they'll, the teeth will come they'll have two teeth that come together i hate those because after you get them on the hook it's hard to rotate them get them to turn and be able to uh to put that hook on really easily all right so the next one is uh let's go with your cutters so what i've got here is i got two pair of scissors all right these are um cuda scissors which are really really good super sharp cut cut braid lightweight, pretty inexpensive, um, and they're just a regular pair of scissors. Now, these are my new favorites. These are called pit bulls. Um, and a, a note, if Pitbull ever, ever sees this video, start putting your name on your product because I always forget it and always have to look it up before I talk about it in a video. But I love these cutters. They cut anything. And what I really kind of an emergency thing if you ever need to like cut through a split ring say you got a treble hook stuck in your hand or stuck in a friend's hand and you need to cut, cut through a split ring these will do it they may get damaged in doing it but in, in an emergency it really doesn't really matter you can just cut through them but they slice through anything they're pretty heavy duty um just a good handy pair of cutters by pitbull the next one is something i keep on my kayak when i am uh, in fishing tournaments and stuff like that you catch a fish you need to lay it off the side of the boat. You don't have a live whale. You gotta, you know, get a board ready or get your camera ready or whatever else. Is the original fish grips. Now these are uh, these are the best thing. These are the best grips that I have found. There's other ones that have come out on the market lately, and they're okay. But these I've never lost a fish on. What you do is you clamp it into the fish's mouth, and then you take this bungee cord that's got the little ball on it, dude. One simple wrap around and hook it onto that little hook just like that, and it keeps this thing closed. And that's just an insurance policy. I literally have put a 10-pounder. my The biggest bass I ever fit, ever caught, I put on one of these and laid it off to the side of the boat until the camera crew could come and take pictures of it. Um, and I really didn't worry about losing that fish. And it really they, they work great. They don't the, the fish can't shake loose. I keep it on a tether on my kayak, but it's the original fish grips. These are custom. Uh, the guys, I met them years ago, and they knew I was a Georgia fan, so they made me something. You cannot buy them with Georgia on them. Uh, they made me one and, and sent it to me, or gave it to me at a, at a Bassmasters Classic Expo, I believe. But anyway, perks. Um, <laughs> but the next one is something that you really sometimes you don't think about, but I always have one on my boat, usually in a Ziploc bag, and that's some type of a lighter, a cigarette lighter. I usually keep a small little black one, but I couldn't find it, so... I grabbed this one out of my out of my boat, and this I use these for the biggest reason is for um, when I run when I've got a, a soft plastic like a worm or or creature bait that's just catching the snot out of fish, and for some and I've run out and I don't have any and there's a bunch of torn ones in the bottom of the boat so I use this to Frankenstein one I'll melt the plastic and stick them together and make them work or or seal holes with them make them last longer. 
um, and and uh, recycle those soft plastics using a cigarette lighter. There's a lot of other things that you can use it for, but that's the main reason I have it on the boat. The next one, um, I really I use this every once in a while. I grabbed it out of my boat because I saw it. And I was like, huh? Well, I, that's a tool, so I might as well bring it and show it to you guys. But that's the wacky tool. You guys know I don't really like fishing Cinco's that much. Uh, they're great. They catch a lot of fish. I just, it's not for me a lot of times. And I've tried and tried and tried, and I just always end up switching to something else. But when you wacky rig a Cinco, um, you take, and it's got a bunch of O-rings on the end right here, a little screw, and you slide those O-ring, the, the, one of the O-rings, down to about right there. You stick your Cinco in, in, the, in the tube, and then you slide that O-ring back over top of the Cinco, and it just makes it really, really simple. Um, and uh, these have been around for a while. I used to have one of the original uh, uh, brass ones from years and years ago, and I left it on some guy's boat, and he moved to, like, West Virginia or something, and I uh, never saw it again, which is okay. It is what it is. This is something for an emergency, and I, I don't recommend unless you want to... These are 80 bucks, so these are expensive, but I have these on my boat for one reason, and that's if, and it's happened, and I've used it, is if somebody catches a fish on a big plug, on a big top water or something like that, something with big hooks, big split rings, and you bring that fish in the boat, and that fish is flopping around and it catches, you get a hook caught in your hand or in your buddy's hand while that fish is still flopping. This will cut through anything and you've got to do it quick. I had it, my buddy was, and I actually, one time I didn't have it, I had something else to cut with, but the first time it ever happened to me was a buddy of mine got got a, a big pencil popper, which are just giant top waters with well, like one or two watt treble hooks. He caught a striped bass on it, got it in the boat, the bass was flopping, hooked in his hand, I come off the back deck, flopped down on the fish, grabbed it and held it as hard as I could, and then we cut the hook off of the bait in order to keep that fish from flopping. There, it, are you talking about painful? That had to have hurt like heck. You know, one hook in your hand and the other hook still on the fish and the fish flopping. That's what these are for. They'll cut through the split rings, they'll cut through thick hooks, thin hooks, wire, anything. It's just a pair of cable cutters. Uh, small, small pair. Um, I'll, if I can find them online, I'll leave the link down in the description. But, uh, but yeah, they're, I think they're like 80 bucks. They weren't, they weren't cheap. Uh, let's see. The next one is one I talk about a lot is my, my lure retriever. This is a Tipton's Golden Retriever, and there's a couple of, of websites online that sell them, and they, um, this is my favorite one, and I've got, I now own three of them, two of them hanging on the, on the peg in my, off, in my barn, just in case I lose this one, but I've had this one for a number of years. Um, it's made in a garage by some old guy. Uh, I actually had his grandson message me a few years ago when I first made a video about it, but this is by far the best lure retriever that I've found. That ugly little hook that's right here on the end of it, it goes down your line, and if you're hooked into somebody else's fishing line, which happens a lot to me because I'm always fishing like public fishing areas that have line everywhere, uh, it goes down, hooks all the line, and rips it through. If you ever get your Alabama rig stuck in a tree, it'll go down, it'll hook around the body of your, your Alabama rig, allowing you to straighten the hooks out that are hung in that tree and pull it free. I have it attached to a dog leash is what I've done. I've rigged up a dog leash. I've had this on here for, this has lasted no, a large, I don't know, I had like five or six years, but it's got 16 foot of line on it. I really ought to have 20 to 25, but 16 foot of line on it and allows me to manage the line as I'm using it and uh, and getting a, a lure out. This was this is like $25, maybe 30, but you know, you, you get five or six or seven crankbaits back with it and it's paid for itself. Um, Last but not least, this is a new sponsor of mine. I mentioned it a little bit on Friday, my Friday Night Live, but it's something I've been using for a couple of years, and they finally approached me, and I haven't been pursuing them or anything else, but they approached me to help uh, help them talk about these. This is called the rod threading device. Now, let me adjust my, my focus. Let me show you this a little bit closer. What this does, it allows you to thread the line through your rod really, really quickly. Now... This is good for uh, for guys who have you know hand issues, and right now I do. You've got a brace on the wrist, and I've got tendonitis in this one. But hand issues or eye issues and things like that you can't see the the uh, guides very well. This allows you to hook the line to this little looks like a, a a drop shot keeper is exactly what it is. Hook it through here, 
and then you literally just run it up your rod or you can run it down your rod and be able to uh to run your line through in just a split seconds you know it's it's really really fast let me kind of show you how it works a little bit um it's your guides go through this is a little bobbin that's in the inside it looks uh i've got one laying right here on my desk looks like this out of the out of the tool and the tip of that bobbin goes through the guides and then it let me see if i can get up here to the top and pop these loose then these things flex away if you can see that and what that does is it allows the bobbin to go through your guides without being knocked out of the way. Now, the only downside to this one, at this point in time, they do not go through micro guides. Uh, but any other rod, no problem at all. Fly rods, those big, long 14-foot crappie rods, uh, same thing. You just kind of rip that, you slide that line right through, no problem at all. Uh, it's called the Rod Threading Device, the RTD. And like I said, I'll leave a link down in the description. I really appreciate them sponsoring me uh, this year. It's not a huge sponsorship. It's not something that's going to, but it's it's going to be a good partnership over the years. If you guys remember two years ago at iCast, I made a video about the things that impressed me the most about iCast or the, the products that I found that impressed me the most. And this was number one. Uh, it was just a really cool engineering device to make things easy. And, you know, like I said, if you're, if you're old and have bad hands and, or you can't see very well, you can't see well enough to run through the guides, this is perfect for you. Or if you're just lazy like me and you just want, you're putting line into 15 or 20 different rods, uh, that's also, you know, it, it helps. You just rip, you know, rip it through and you're done. Or on a kayak, man, when you're on a kayak and you need to reline a rod or you, you've got to, you've got to pull line out and you've got a backlash or whatever anything that can happen to have you to have it to where you have to rethread your rod dude this is ideal that way you don't run the risk of dropping your rod in the water while you're trying to line it you just kind of rip it through and you're done so anyway enough about that those are the tools that i keep in my boat those are the tools that make the day a whole lot easier um i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe hit the bell for uh, notifications hit the like button uh but more importantly be sure to take somebody out fishing introduce them to fishing then introduce them to my channel let me help you teach them how to fish and uh well more importantly get out on the water go out and have some fun and fish your heart out man they're biting right now and because i've got two bad arms i can't even set a hook so go catch one for me we'll see you